as I promised every view that wherever we're going to make a podcast and we post it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, we get a comments that someone needs more question. We repeat again with the same person, the same unique person. And he comes again today here, Tony, because we had this comment, you see it here, which he, it asks him, like the comment says, uh, how is it to be African and living in Dubai? So we decided to make this Aftershock podcast number two with him, you know, episode two with Tony. Hi, Tony. Hello, man. How are you? Thank you for having me back. <laughs> well, I, ha I had to. I had to. I had well, no choice. This comment. I, I enjoyed you know, the last one. So. I promise. I promise everyone that wherever someone would comment, I have to bring the same guest again yeah. and do the second one. So well, people wanted you to come. No, I, I think it's where the girl commented. How is it being an African? Yeah, I think I saw, the, I saw the post. I saw the two comments yeah, as well. Yeah, course, yeah. yeah. So how is it to be an African being in Dubai? Incredible. Yeah. Because it was everywhere you go, you, you, you kind of get looked at two ways, right? Yeah. And you know, I, I am going to swear as you know. But anyway, there are two kinds of niggas in Dubai. You're either rich or you're poor. There's no middle ground. Right? Yeah. So when you don't look poor, everyone assumes you're rich. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. And when you're black, everyone assumes whatever there is for black people, right? Yeah. So it kind of comes with perks. Now that's wow. the me fucking around me silly, but on the other side, the actual proper side. So you look side, rich, yeah? Well, uh, anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> so on the other side, yeah. there is, it actually is compared to Africa, compared to everywhere else in Africa, it's safe. It's incredible. Dubai actually supports you. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the plus sides know. are incredible. Yeah, but you know? specifically, I have African. I know why they come in. Who, who look African here? I don't know. Do I look African? Do he look African? We're not. Secret like guys. We're both African. Yeah. yeah but, uh, <laughs> what did he say now? <laughs> like, I don't know. I think we, we, we look like from He's the a desert. Wigger. He's it. a wigger. I'm a, I'm yeah. the real nigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how is it? The comment says like, how is it to be African living in Dubai? I don't know. Where, where is here the African people? Like, do you see any on Africa? There's somewhere. Oh, she's African. Trying she's to find them. Yeah, she's African. Yeah, yeah she is. <laughs> you, I mean, I mean, you guys, trust me. Trust yeah. me, you want to see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later, you will, eventually. <laughs> so uh, you would answer the, the, the question, how is it to be an African Dubai? That you, if you look rich, uh, if you dress rich, you look rich. <laughs> no, that's just me silly, man. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the, that's the yeah, Tony being whatever, Tony. But beyond that point, you, you want to be here. You don't want to be in Africa. I mean, I've done some, as you know, I work at governments, presidents and some governments in Africa. Yeah. I've tried to do so much. I, I have a free zone in Africa as well. I'm going to shut it down. Because things just don't work there. And again, yeah. I'm not trying to be a pessimist or a hater. I'm the guy who has tried his best. I'm the guy who has tried to do, and I work with the highest level of governments, presidential level, you know, yeah, yeah. and things still don't get done. And Africans are always looking for who to blame or there was this colonizer. Shut the fuck up. There's no colonizer. It's a stupid excuse. Yeah, yeah. It's 2024. There's too much opportunity for you to fly and thrive and win and do whatever you want to do. There's nobody holding anybody back. That's all just here. And to me, that's, it pisses me off when I see those mentality, you know, that mentality and my people are just so crippled by it. And in a place like Dubai, as you know very well, being here long, yeah. anything is possible. Just got to reach and take it. And yeah, that's, yeah. that's gold to me. That's amazing. So you don't have any uh, troubles being an African in Dubai. I don't Zero. have any trouble being an African. Zero. We don't Dubai have any racism them. problems here. We don't have any yeah. discrimination problems here. I mean... Yeah, yeah. All, all the nonsense you see online and all this, you know, they're just sentiments. You know, a lot of people come from parts of the world where they're racially sensitive. Like I grew up in North America, between Canada and America. And when Americans come here, you know, they, especially black Americans, they come very, very defensive. But mm. the real truth is people don't like you because they don't like you. It's not about your skin color. If they yeah. hate you, they hate you. If they like you, they like you. You know that's what I mean? True, that's and true. if you're valuable, it doesn't affect, really it doesn't affect the yeah, color. Yeah, that yeah. skin color is, I, I don't see that. Especially in Dubai, you know, my son is right there, eight years old. He doesn't know where a person is from. He doesn't care the yeah, person's yeah, yeah. nationality. You know, he just knows, oh, this is Tom. He's, he smells. Oh, this is uh, uh, Greg and he likes Lego. Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's things about you. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And that's what Dubai gives us that the rest of the world, you know, sort of uh, doesn't really give us. So I love it. Maybe we can ask your son. Can he come here? Uh, Michael? Michael. Come quick. Come, come. Let, let us ask you one question. Here, here. Come here. Yeah, yeah. The other side. So guys, we have Michael. It's his son. Hi, Pat. Thank yeah. you. So you can concentrate. So we, we had one girl asking Michael, how is it to be an African like us and living in Dubai? Michael, this shyness is fake and we know it. Please just go yeah, to the next yeah, scene. Yeah. Stand right here. Please, please <laughs> come here. Boy, young man. He disappeared. Michael left, guys. Michael, come on. Come on. Okay, it, it, it seems nice. <laughs> okay, just, can you, come on, get up for Michael, a quick second. come on. Say it, Michael. Do you like, do you like living like, in Dubai, Michael? Okay, Michael, what, okay, quick one. You can keep your voice down. Okay, here, what, here, what, yeah. what is it like 
What is it like living in Dubai? Yeah, do you like living in Dubai? No. You don't know? Okay, He's that's a good answer. Shy. <laughs> anyway, yeah. you got the message, guys. <laughs> guys, if kids don't like something, okay, they scream. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Go back. It's okay, go back, go back. Yeah. Have I take? Blood. So if kids doesn't like or <laughs> don't like something, they scream right away. If you come and smile and say, I don't know, it means like, you just, you just they go love back to Dubai, like all kids love Dubai. Yeah? Yeah. He's streaming, I think, Minecraft Ma- Mike, with his friends. Mike, you want to live in Nigeria or in Dubai? Michael, Nigeria or Dubai? Yeah, me Dubai. too. Dubai! <laughs> me fucking too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Mike, you're going to Nigeria tomorrow. Okay? Let's, let's book for him. Take it tomorrow. Uh, Michael. I'll, I'm going to get arrested at the airport because he's going to scream. If I'm in issues, <laughs> I'll scream, scream too. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't, don't want to go tomorrow to Nigeria, then come here to the mic. Come to the mic if you want to go. If you want to go to Nigeria, stay there. How he would. <laughs> it's called incentivization. Yeah, he's going to be a man. Your life as a girl is not it's, as hard as our life as a man, you know? Life as a girl, easier than as a man. As a man, you have to be strong. You have to handle, you know, stress. You have, yeah, it's true. It's really? True. Life, life as a man. Yes, when you have parents that take care of you, yes, but when you are responsible for your life and childhood, no. Wait, you know, are you saying I don't I take care seen, of my child? I uh, have a lot of guys here. Her name is... Uh, uh, Vlad, uh, Dima, or whatever, and he's here 25 minutes, 25 years, oh. and he's here 25 <laughs> he cut, years. He just cut all yeah. the years to... So, to <laughs> so listen, listen I have, seen, have you seen this guy, uh, Vlad, Dima, Anton, or whatever? He's here 20 years working in the bank, and he's driving the San Sunny till now. 20 years ago, he's here, and he's still now driving the San Sunny. And I've seen this girl, whatever, Nastia, Natasha, whatever, she came last year, and she's driving a G-Wagon, you know? So it's not, well, it's not easy for hello, men, as Vlad. it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's his mindset. What are you saying? How his mindset? Like it's easier for women. Yeah. Who do you think has a better chance? A really attractive, smart man or a really attractive, smart woman? Yes, exactly. Don't 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 smart, be, be realistic. Woman Both of them are attractive be and intelligent. Okay, there you go. End of story. Podcast <laughs> podcast is finished, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, you see, it's a be, being a smart, attractive woman opens a lot of doors for oh, you for sure. to be successful in this world. Because being a smart, uh, attractive man, you would be in competition too much. You know, like uh, the competition would be yeah. too big. You have to be the strongest, the strongest. You know, but being a smart, attractive woman, you're already in a good place. You know, but the being a smart, yeah, you're already. In a I would always sexist or whatever. It's just. You know, you already said yes. This is so. life, you know, this life. It is what it like, is. Like, there is here a lot of places where you can go to cafe. My, my friend is doing this. Like, he invites girls just to have uh, be- dinner in beautiful places, just to be to yeah. be there. Yeah. And sometimes they get paid even of course. just to have this beautiful dinner and these beautiful cafes because yeah. they bring beauty to the place. Yeah. You know, like, that's a kind of concierge no, service. No, it's called hiring someone to make a place look good. Yeah. There's a difference. No, 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 it's no, no, it's concierge. <laughs> no, they go together, it's girls together. Escort. Like the girls go together. Alone, it's, it no one's everywhere. harassing New them, York no one's City. telling them. Just yeah, it's, it's Miami also having, like girls go alone, alone, sit in the table in a, in a club or a party or a dinner and they eat complimentary just because they're beautiful girls. Just because you, they are smart, attractive girls. So really, they don't have to pay for food, you know? Life is beautiful. And a man smart, attractive, you will not be invited to this place unless you're very famous. Question for you while, while you're saying this. Yeah. Now that we said all this, right? Both of you. If you are going to come back to this life as a man or a woman, are you going to still come back a man or a woman? Man. You? There you go. Yeah, of Answers course. everything you need to know, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm grateful to be born as a man and I love the hustle and I love the grind and I love the challenges and I love, I love to be a man. Of huh? course I do. Do you believe in past lives? Absolutely. I believe in future lives. I think now I believe in that to up until that point of 50% where yes, there might be some things set, but I also believe there's another flip side of that coin where you still are in the driver's seat to a certain degree, right? So even though you come to this life and you're supposed to do a certain thing, Mm. you could possibly change that the same way you could fuck it up, right? Because if it's really set in stone, then why are we even bothering trying to choose anything, right? Like if everything is already perfectly made and you cannot change anything, then we we might as well just be a computer program. But I, I really believe that there's still some level of control where we can decide to change our minds. Yeah. We can either ruin those things that we're supposed to do or make, make them better, or we can choose a different route. 
That's true. That's true. So, There's always things we can't change in our yeah. lives. But I, still, I, I, I do agree to a certain change. degree what you said, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's big things we can't change. Like, it's not still a three-way... Uh, sorry, that's not very sexual. I mean, like a three-way uh, podcast, guys. Podcast. Yeah, yeah. We always have people watching us. Not only you guys. We have here people watching. Yeah. And you, you can be here too, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So it's, that's it. what we were saying, that really in this life, you come with some choices, as he said. Absolutely. There's always choices. Absolutely. Yeah, mission choices. And Absolutely. there are things which, like, you didn't choose. Like, where are you born? With, yeah. with who, who are your parents, you know? You choose who's your parents. I don't believe you choose your parents. Whatever you're smoking, I want some. I'm joking. I don't want to be rude. I don't, I don't mean to be rude or anything. No, I, I believe, I I believe to be you come in this life, you have a lot of choices. And how life should change your, yourself, mostly. You can change yourself. You, because you are like the response of your life. So you can be whoever you want to be. Just go through the, you know, the you choices. Know, it's you funny. Know. I actually made that silly joke and said, whatever you're smoking. But the reality is, would you believe me if I told you I actually believe you and I agree with you 1000%? Now, I think that the way that's done, I'm, I'm very serious about it. Uh, <laughs> the way that's done is from the intensity of our willpower and desire in this life, right? And I believe that that could really push. So if, growing up as a child, when I was even his age, maybe a little bit older, when physics, biology, chemistry started to really kick in and yeah. then you start to go into slightly more advanced math. I love, I'm, I'm a geek. I'm a geek. So we like the good looks for you, right? Uh, I'm a pure geek and I love to study quantum physics, extreme molecular science wow. and all that. And I realized, or I came to this conclusion by myself, no lab, no experiment, that certain information gets passed on from parents to offspring. Now it's like a hard drive that we get born with in our DNA, right? Mm. And I keep thinking to myself, people keep talking about DNA with traits and features, but I think even factual information also, again, I don't have any, I don't think, I don't know if there's any science for this, but I genuinely believe it. And I can true. see this very well because when you really think about it, you could have a child who was born in India and maybe he, three, four, five lifetime, lifetime before, his father was born in America and they both end up doing music and they both end up with the same talent level, right? What are the fucking odds? They have no exposure to the Great same class. lifestyle. He was born rich in India. His father was born a shoemaker in, in America and they end up in the same path. Now, if, there you go. And I, I, I mean, nature, I think nature has a very huge role to play that we haven't figured out yet. Yes, nurture is very important. These nurture can, crazy nurture can make or break things. And it's true. But I think nature has such a powerful this. So if you would be born before, what, what, where were you born? Like I was a general. You? I was a military general for sure. You I have no evidence, general. but I was a, definitely a military <laughs> general. A very I, okay. fucking rich one. Uh, what about after this life? Where are you going? Who, Back who to the military. Be? To fuck Back with the military, up. Yeah. The world needs to be cleaned up <laughs> you guys have a so military to go. <laughs> so in which 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 area of the world i'm coming be? back as a fusion between a taller version of napoleon bonaparte and hitler's cousin <laughs> <laughs> please i hope that's not good to go on. guys uh, yeah anyway I'm, I'm this, this guy <laughs> so you know physics but say something okay i'm going back as as a physics, a taller version of Napoleon Bonaparte. Let's skip it there. Okay. Let's not. So you said you know physics very well. Yeah? I love physics, physics. Yes. Say something funny in physics. People don't know. Yeah. Something <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. say. Okay. So I'll. I'll something I'll, in physics I'll, people doesn't know at all. Like. I'll apply. <laughs> I'll apply a very very simple policy where. In physics, I genuinely believe, so there was actually probably a reel you've seen where this little kid yeah. was trying to explain to his mother there is God. And was talking about how everything is so perfectly balanced. I don't know if you've seen that. Where if gravity is off by a little bit, the mm. whole world collapses and people people float. And if God made everything balanced, yeah, you sure. must have seen this stuff. Like now, that is that kid's version, and that's that version online. But the reality is, I genuinely believe that every single thing that we do, every scientific fact that we actually chase after, we might not admit it to ourselves, but it's all a journey to discover something beyond us. Mm. Right. It might, I mean, you want to call it spiritual, religious, whatever name you want to call it, you want to call it ayahuasca, whatever the fuck you want to label it is your problem. Right. But everything that we do is a quest for more. Mm. And the reality is no matter how religious you are or not, right. Now I'm not the most religious guy. I do believe there is a Supreme being and there's a God. I believe that very much, but no matter what you do, I always ask a question, especially to the atheist Oh, a big bang came and made this world. I'm like, okay, who put the big bang there? Just a simple question. What happened before the Big Bang? And then 
When you say, and at that point, their brain just goes like loading, Wi-Fi is connecting. You know, there's no answer anymore. And no matter what it is, there's always a beginning. And this is also what kind of makes me get confused about time. Because the truth is, if truly we can never go back to the very beginning, it means time is actually not real. It's a fictional, it's a fictional thing. Yeah, we have think, only the present. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Human beings created yeah. time, right? That's Human true, beings created yeah. time to, I, I think it's more like to label times in history, to label points and moments, like a timeline measurement or calculator, if you want, label. Yeah. I see time as just a label at... 1.40 p.m. on the 17th of February, I'm looking her in the eyes right now in this location, 308. And yeah. that's all it's for. But beyond that point, there is no beginning because time labels beginning and end. But the truth is there's really no beginning. So, so there's they, no uh, time. It's only, yeah. Uh, yeah, and most people, the sad, the sad saying that most people, they live in the past and they worry about the future yeah. and they forget about the present, which we have now. This 100%. is the only thing we have. It's all present. It's a gift. 100%. You know, and it's really the only thing we have. 100%. And, you know, that's true. Do you, do you live in the present or in the past? Totally yeah, present? Yeah, you look, you look like a very reckless You're lucky. person. <laughs> you look very reckless. Like, no no decisions for the future. Like, fuck it. You're so lucky. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But it's true. Like, it, it, it sounds yeah. too much, but it's true. <laughs> I forget my date. That was just yesterday. Me too. Me too. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's so funny you say that because I genuinely believe people who don't hold on to things, both, both good and bad, they tend to go so much further and so much lighter and so much more yeah, free because, in life. Because they appreciate the present. Yeah. Yeah. Because then some, some people just some people just hold on to all the and again, it's I get weight. it. I, I have to be exactly I have to be empathetic, right? Some trauma, some bad experiences. It's almost impossible to really just forget it overnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But genuinely, if you don't, it's like a big anchor for a ship. You're never gonna go anywhere. That's, That's true. true. Well, look, look at relationships that last so long. It's not because they're not fucked up. It's not because they don't want to kill each other. The fact of the matter is in the morning when the wife is making eggs for her husband, fucking butt naked, yeah. he goes and spanks that ass and he forgets everything. And that's how they make it the next day. Now that might seem like a very extreme, unusual kind of ideology, but the bottom line of what I'm trying to say is if you don't actually let go of a lot of bullshit, which becomes very heavy weight, yeah, you're never go going to be able to take a next step. Meaning, like, like I say, right, you got to let go of something to be able to pick up something. So yeah. if you're still holding on to that nonsense that's, hold, that, that's holding you down, how the hell are you going to actually progress and go forward in life? Yeah. So you can't move forward at holding all. the past. You got to forgive, you got to let go that's of true. things, you got to really just be able to say, you know what, fuck it. Whatever is in front is better than what's behind. Yeah. And off we go. So you were the lucky one to come here again, episode two with you Absolutely. because of I feel the very comment lucky. of this girl Honestly. about Africa and Africans in Dubai. Yeah. So uh, you still have a chance to ask me again five questions. So oh God. That's the rule of the game. Do you believe in aliens? Do I believe in aliens? Mm -hmm. Or an alien? <laughs> Any aliens? Do you believe she's an alien? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that, that's that's second well, question. I, I think there is aliens. Yeah, there's yeah. other creatures and other kind of like human life form spaces. style Asian aliens. I don't know, but definitely something is living. Even in the in the ocean, when you go to Maldives and you swim in the sea, there's too many things I've never seen in my yeah, life. Like, yeah, yeah, like really too many, too yeah, many yeah. different fish. Like I always have to swim, so I go swim in the ocean alone in the morning. Wow! I, first time I feel this, you know, greatness of God. Like yeah. you swim in the sea, yeah. and there's too many different fish, and the one like this, and one like this, one so big, yeah. and another one that's that's really, really, uh, you know, in like touching the heart. Yeah. You know? So I think there's creatures here we don't know it. Hundred yeah. percent. There is big birds, maybe somewhere else living. There is, there is, you know, uh, a lot of things we don't know. Yeah, Amazing. I love birds. <laughs> well, I mean, one of the five questions was also going to be, if you're going to come back next time, would you come back as a man or a woman? But you already answered that before, Yeah. right? Man. So the third question I'm going to ask you right now is, if you had a choice to stay mortal or immortal, what would you choose? More what or more what? Mortal, where you can, you're can you going to die as a human being, you're mortal, or you're going to live forever, you're immortal like a god. Which one are you going to choose? I think how I was born, like... Mortal? Yeah. You? Oh, I love her. Wow. Me too. Yeah, but if you are a immortal, there is no uh, precious thing which is present because you you know that it's too much. Everything you have in your life, too much, you don't appreciate. I will figure but now it every out. moment you have, it's the only moment you have. I agree so with you. It has a taste. Imagine, yeah, I, imagine if it's not like this, you know? Imagine if you're really immortal. Like, it's impossible to enjoy the present. Impossible yeah. I suppose to they have pros and cons, right? They like, both like, have pros and cons. Tell me anything you have, like you have endlessly. 
like anything you have. But I think there'll be, there'll, there'll there'll be some, there's some level of uncertainty as to, okay, you might be immortal and live forever, but there's like in any superhero movie, right? Even the immortal ones have a weak point. Like Superman has a kryptonite or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. there might still be something that'll come sweep you out of, you know, like yeah, in Greek, yeah. I, lo- I love Greek mythology. I don't know if you guys do. And That's there's always true. the thing that can kill the God. Right. And I think that even if you're immortal, there will be something that can remove you. <laughs> right. So let's yeah, hopefully then. Okay. But again, think about it though. Fourth question. You live for a hundred years and you only get to orgasm for a hundred years, or you can orgasm for 10,000 years. I choose 10,000 years. <laughs> I <laughs> skipped <laughs> this question. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, just don't even silly as usual. Anyway. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I have the right to skip two questions. I don't yes, you here. do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the next question is. Hmm. Mm. Okay, I'm going to give you a question that I think you're probably going to skip. Next question is, if you were going to, religion, I don't, I'm not talking about religion, right? Yeah, but just, yeah. just out of curiosity, if you were going to pick any religion or any religious belief or any body of belief or whatever, which one would you choose and why? Of course I choose Islam. Why? Okay. Because why? It, it covers all religious. That, the, like, to enter Islam, you yeah. have to believe in all other And respect religions. them. Yeah, That's and beautiful. respect them. So that it's one beautiful. of the like the rules. Yeah. You know, if you don't believe in Christianity, you're not yeah. Muslim. If you don't believe in uh, Jewish, you're not Muslim. You know, so you have to believe That's in nice. all of them, and you have to believe that God created all this religion. Of course, you don't you don't have to believe that God created a cow. Yeah, that you have of course, of to course. Worship as a god. No, course, you just have to respect the charge. You have to respect, you know, the whoever God created yeah. as religion. Yeah. You have to respect God created. Not right. a human created. Of you course, know? amazing. So, because Jesus was born to save humanity from how politics, how the Jewish used the politics for aggression. Okay. And he saved the lady because they were throwing her rocks because she did something yeah, wrong. Yeah, the prostitute. And, yeah, and he yeah, yeah. said, if any of you didn't have, have not a come sin, into the crime, yeah, yeah, you throw the first rock. Throw it in yourself. Why, why he was born? Because people start to use the name of religious to politics, you know? They're still doing it. Yeah, but that time back profitable. in history... He was born to save the humanity, yeah. you know, and tell them God yeah. is, is mercy. Yeah. God is love. You know, yeah. God is, is to being grateful and being happy. And he saved them because everyone in the name of God was, was punishing other people, yeah. was hitting other people. But this all was not correct. You know, Absolutely. after a time, maybe now, as you said, nowadays, some people are using the name of religious to be aggressive or in politics. But this is not, not correct because any religious religion, yeah. religion is about yeah. love, gratitude and about... Absolutely being grateful to God, be helping other, you know, uh, God created all of us. So we have to stand next to each other. God created the sea and uh, the animals and everything. So we have Amen to, to that. Them. Yeah, we have to protect the animals. We have oh, yeah. to protect the sea. We have to protect the nature. Absolutely. So that's the thing that was in all religion. And the last one who came to save this was Muhammad, you know. And Muhammad uh, acknowledged Jesus and acknowledged yeah. everything yeah. was before. Yeah. And he said he came in a place where there was very good and poet and poem here in the Gulf in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah, they were very good in speaking a language, Arabic language, and he never studied, you know, uh, how to read or write. And he um, came up with the Quran as a miracle. I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. Imagine, like, he made the Quran, like, God sent it to him through Gibril. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So I think um, the most important thing is just to believe that God is with you and yeah. God is over all and believe that you have to do good for others. And you have to good for your good for yourself as well, you know. Like beautiful, because if you do beautiful. good for yourself, you know you will be. Uh, yeah, God gave you this body as as a temple, you know, for you. So you have to eat well. You have to sleep well. You have to, you know, to have good friends around. You have to have good habits. Don't go eat like uh, 10, 20 uh, kilograms of KFC, and you know, and I mean, say God give me this cold. body, like. You know, but this is. No, you're not. Just if you pay the even, price. Even yeah. what, what you believe in, what's your re- religion? You are. I believe in Christ. No, no, it was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, even, even in Christianity, as I know from my friends, uh, they have a one one thing which is big sin is eating a lot or, you know, some, you know. For several reasons. Yeah, abusing and wasting food as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. The, no, yeah. wasting and abusing food too. Like, you, you cannot get this man that's very dangerous you know you have to respect the body that god gave you you have to respect the life that god gave you that the word that god gave you the trees that god gave you the the people that god gave you and then that's that's the reason of every religion you know Amazing. to respect each other respect women respect the old respect the weak yeah. you know 
So it's like a tate. religious Andrew Tate, you know? No, no. no in a good way. That's a good way. <laughs> no, no, no. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, like, you're like a halal, halal version, you know? It's like, no, no, it's no, like no, the no. kind of Andrew Tate that the church is put in the microphone and just announced like no, every I've just morning. I've like more than 45 countries. No, I've no, seen no, different no. kinds I, I, I mean, uh, in a very good way, trust people, me. Yeah, I've seen different yeah. kind of people. I've seen, regard, regardless their yeah. uh, religion, I've seen too many people in the whole of course, world. Of course, of course. And of course. the best I've seen, the people who understand that God is love, is gratitude, is helping others i've seen it doesn't I've matter what you believe as long yeah. as you have that i've yeah. seen a family the grandmother living with her grandmother living with her granddaughter and her her granddaughter and and when i was in georgia i don't know what kind of religion they have but mm. they were really nice they have fruits they have tomatoes probably yeah christian, but they were amazing. Or, or orthodox christian one yeah. of these two that's amazing i was in kyrgyzstan i've seen also people yeah i've seen people like living beautiful life and creating these trees and you know the kid also was a grand grand grandfather and so it, it's about you, you know, you have to find God within you. Amen. Yeah, I agree. Really, and, and, and accept this. Just don't go to the church or the mosque just to act like you're going. Just go with your heart, you know, or go to the mountain. Unless you're the you pastor know? who owns the church and you're making money off it, then of course you can go to Politics. <laughs> we don't speak politics. <laughs> My comments here. are going to get me <laughs> fucking deleted from all social media platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Well, Question number five. Yeah. Blonde, brunette or red hair? Oh my god! All of them. <laughs> it's like their fourth option. <laughs> I like blonde, brunette. Oh, red hair. You come back to this earth. It's just you. Okay, blonde, you brunette, or what? One. Or red hair? Or red hair. No, let's let's exclude the red hair. So blonde or brunette? Yeah, blonde or uh, light color brunette. So yeah. blonde. <laughs> Blonde or you just like blonde. You try to avoid. Not, don't not stick the, around. Not, 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 not <laughs> black color, hair color, and just blonde. Like a lighter and blonde, and blonde. Just yeah. like light enough to be blonde. Yeah, blonde, but <laughs> maybe with with a little bit brown hair. You know, like blonde. <laughs> yeah, may, not black hair, but maybe you know, Guys, the color between doing, the black and he's the, just the doing Carmen, his yeah? best to justify and lie to himself. <laughs> but he actually has a variety of types. No, he likes blondes. So all year blondes, we've been if wondering. If blonde was a bit dark, you're hair, welcome. No problem. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so blonde. <laughs> so silly. Oh God. <laughs> so, uh, what is your rule in, with your friends? Like, if you go out with your friends, mm -hmm. who are you between your friends? What's your rule? Like, what? What? I, who are you? Like, you know, there is the the guy who pay. There is a guy who choose the place. There is a guy, the girl who make the fun. What's the rule between you? I'm friends? all of them. No, one rule. No, 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 I'm all of them. No, it's not a rule. So it's not really a rule. It's a personality. Like right? when I was five friends, what, what was the thing you do? I'm all of them. So I'm the guy who probably made the reservation, who probably pays for everyone and probably will be having a lot of like great, because I, I don't so really drink. So you're the father. I am the papa. Yeah. Okay. So the word is father. Yeah. <laughs> when are you the most happy? Oh, I'm happy in three states. Yeah. I'm happy when I make a lot of fucking money. Yeah. Right. But this is very short happiness. No, 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 it's very long. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stop it, okay? Don't, 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 don't go there. So yeah. I'm happy when I make a lot of money. Okay. But again, the reason why it's long happiness is you're right. The excitement of almost like winning, right, is one tiny part of it. The happiness lasts longer in regards to what you can do with that money, right? Yeah. The things you can buy, people you can look after, the gifts you can give to those you care about, the quality zabotushka that yeah. you can be, right? To those that you want to give this abota to, right? Yeah, yeah. That is where money becomes a tool that you use. And I always say, like, as I think I told you all several times in the past, money is just a tool that you give away for something you want. Yeah. So the more of it, the more of what you want, you can actually get. And that's the reason why I'm always against people who make money this bad, evil thing. Man, shut the fuck up. There's no such thing bad or evil about money. Nothing the bad. real evil is when you don't have money and you're trying to chase money. That's how yeah. you see people actually become monsters, right? But anybody yeah. who actually has a lot of money and can be content. Now, some people can never be content, whether they have money or not, that's fine, but it's got nothing to do with the money. It's yeah, them. Yeah. Like, you know, like I say, right? Money amplifies things. If you're a dickhead, money makes you a rich motherfucking dickhead. And if you're a sweet, kind, generous person, yeah, you'll be more. all the world wins when you, win, when you have money. Because money is just a tool, it's just resources. And when you think about it, yeah. money is useless because... Before paper money and money was invented, before digital money was invented, it was trade by barter. So money is a new concept. It's yeah, only a few hundred years old. So right? your happiest moment when you make money. No, that's one. Now, the second one is <laughs> when I'm able to, the second part is when I'm able to actually now provide for those that I actually care about. I'm a big Zabotushka, huge. So being able to, not being able to give what I want 
That's it, it destroys yeah. me. That's sad. So when I can't actually provide, again, it doesn't have to be something crazy. It doesn't have to be a Chanel bag, or oh, Chanel bags are nice, of course. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't have to be something materialistic or whatever. But just knowing, okay, if my son needs this, I have no problem with that. If my whatever needs this, I'm, if my mother needs it, just so yeah. that gives me the joy to know I have that. And again, it doesn't always have to be that I have to pay money or do whatever, but having the ability to provide a solution because there's so many times where I wanted something, I didn't have to pay for it. I found a way to get it by giving some value. And my value could be advice, it could be time spent, it could be a favor, it could just be you being you and somebody likes that and you just come with a great energy around you that somebody can actually benefit from, right? Yeah. So, What's your best pickup line? Hi, I'm Tanya, how are you? <laughs> it works every single time. Really? I swear to God. That's with a good. beautiful eye lock and a nice friendly smile. Yeah, you got a comment like, we, we got a comment of a girl saying, how is it to be an African in, uh, in Dubai? Oh yeah. You're the first one who got the second episode two in After Shower podcast, wow. I'm feeling good, so guys, lucky. You see everyone who comments, we do what you want. This is why comment and say whoever you want to know about me, about him. Oh, yeah. You know, and we will be always keen to do the second, the third one. Now with him, we're going to do the third one. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I look forward soon, to it, bro. Or soon. Let's see. So thank you so much, Tony. Thank you for having me. A privilege. Thanks for being part of After Shower. Back. Thank yeah. you. After Shower podcast with Jordan. Incredible. <laughs> thank you for being part of it. Thank yeah. you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have fun.